Fred Wall, the Visa Coach here. Today's topic is what is the timeline to get a spouse visa in 2018? Visa Coach, fast, easy, and personal. I am Fred Wall, the Visa Coach, and I am known for the personal one-on-one -on -one relationship that we share. That's you, me, and your partner, as we work together as a team to overcome the many challenges of immigration. Please don't risk your happiness. Don't go this course alone. Alone, it's far too easy to make mistakes that cause, well, tears, delays, and expensive denials. Do pick up the phone, speak with me directly, so that you and I can get to know each other. This is the free introductory consultation I talk about later. If we are compatible, well, that's the beginning of our beautiful relationship to get you the immigration approvals that you need. Now, this is what two of my clients, Mira and Pierre, had to say. Pierre comes from Lebanon, and I helped him get his fiancé visa. When we first started the K-1 visa process, we were so overwhelmed by the amount of paperwork and the wait times for the different processes that we read about online. We thought we would have to spend at least a year apart, and we were so worried that the approval would never come. Using Visa Coach really made the process so much easier and so much more comforting for us. Every step of the way was explained in detail, and the appropriate information was always at our fingertips through Fred Wall. We began working with Fred, compiling information, which took us a couple of months to get all our photos and documents in order. We submitted our package to the USCIS in mid-December 2016. We received the approval on our case at the end of March 2017, and then our case was sent to the local consulate where we scheduled the interview in the beginning of June. My fiancé entered the U.S. in August, and we got married in September. I don't know where we would be without the help of Visa Coach. The processing time for all our documents was so quick because of the expertise Mr. Wall has in compiling the right information into the perfect package. We are very thankful that the process has gone so smoothly and we wish other couples the best of luck. Well, Mira and Pierre, you are certainly most welcome. Today's topic is how long does it take to get a CR1 spouse visa? As of 2018, the answer is, well, 12 to 15 months on average, 5 to 7 months at USCIS, 5 to 6 months at NVC, 2 months at the consulate. I regularly get calls from people saying, oh, those numbers must be wrong because they found a website or person who promised a much shorter processing time. So what's their secret? Well, the secret is they are either telling you what you want to hear so they can get your money or are just referring to one step of a multi-step process. Not all the steps from initial submission of your petition to the visa embossed onto your spouse's passport. When I give time estimates, I always use what is relevant to the couple, and that is starting from the day USCIS receives a petition, ending on the day your foreign spouse gets the visa. Two different departments of the U.S. government are involved, USCIS, Homeland Security, and the Department of State. From mid-2017 through the 2018, Homeland Security recently is getting their job done relatively slowly, currently taking five to seven months. This compares to processing times a year ago of two to three months for the same cases. And that was well under the five-month policy standard that USCIS has set for themselves. Now, why is USCIS now taking two to three times as long as it used to? Well, I call this the Trump effect. President Trump, after taking office in January 2017, has mandated that USCIS vigorously enforce and administer, administer immigration laws. Take no shortcuts. The goal is to restrict legal immigration while stopping illegal immigration. We have to get much tougher, much smarter, and less politically correct, said Trump. What this means is that immigration is very closely examining and scrutinizing all cases looking for reasons to deny. In addition, cases that regularly had their interviews waived 
Now, specifically, there is a presidential executive order that no interviews, regardless of the strength of their evidences, may be waived. The result is USCIS has more work to do, has more bases to touch in the processing of each and every case. And while President Trump has promised to hire more staff to handle the increased load, well, so far, no new staff has been hired but the workload definitely has increased. This is the Trump effect. More work with the same staff. And the result is that USCIS processing times for spouse visas have stretched to take at least five to seven months. And it is possible this may get even worse, depending on how many new steps USCIS is asked to take, such as extreme vetting and social media data mining that are new, very labor-intensive steps that have been proposed, but not implemented quite yet. USCIS processing includes a background check on the sponsor by the FBI. In addition to the general slowdown due to the Trump effect, what also affects how long it takes for USCIS to approve your case, well, is a function of how complete your petition is, how busy the processing center is, how current your FBI file is, and of course, a bit of luck. The most obvious source of preventable delay, well, is incomplete and sloppy petitions. When USCIS finds a problem, processing grinds to a halt, and it is stopped until the problem is fixed. Sometimes the errors are so big that they don't even bother asking for corrections and simply deny. Once USCIS finishes their part, the case is passed to the U.S. Department of State. And the Department of State has a processing center in New Hampshire called the National Visa Center, or NVC. The NVC first contacts your spouse, asking her to confirm a choice of agent. This is basically to confirm that you are allowed to be copied on correspondences sent to your spouse. It sounds a bit strange as you are the original sponsor of the petition, but I believe this is a privacy issue that NVC must address. After NVC receives the signed choice of agent form, they contact you via email with invoices for adjustment of status, for uh, visa application fees and uh, affidavit of support, <laughs> not just says. Once paid, you then <laughs> submit a packet of documents to NVC. And I call this the mini petition. This includes proof of payment of the fees, plus civil documents and financial evidences, etc. Once NVC is satisfied that all required documents have been presented, it forwards your case on to the American consulate responsible to issue the visa. And at the same time, notifies you and your spouse the date and time your spouse's interview has been scheduled for at the consulate. And this is usually about two months later. The approval denial decision is made during the interview. Now this is really where the higher visa coach standard for crafting front-loaded presentations, well, wins the day. The counselor officer always reviews the case file before the interview starts. Our plan is that he will find many good reasons why he should trust you and approve the visa. Even before he invites your spouse to sit in front of his desk, he should already be mentally prepared to say yes. This will make the interview a fast and friendly formality. Most Visa Coach clients here welcome to the USA in just, well, three to four minutes. Then in about, well, two weeks, the passport with its new CR1 visa is returned to your spouse. Just as in medicine commercials on TV, your results may vary. Some of my clients get their visas faster, some slower. But if in 2018 you plan for between 12 to 15 months average CR1 spousal visa processing time, you're not going to be too far off. This was Fred Wall, the visa coach. Please like or add your comments to this video. And then go to visacoach.com and sign up for the Visa Coach monthly newsletter. Each month it is full of tips and advice on marriage-based immigration and it's free of charge. And when you sign up, you get two free ebooks I have written, 120 K-1 visa interview practice questions and five things you must know before starting your visa. Finally, when you are ready to get started, well, call for your free introductory consultation and 
speak with me directly. Before starting your immigration adventure, before entering an arcane maze of rules, regulations, and procedures, before committing yourself to a risky path that could mean an end to your happiness, speak with the Visa Coach and ask for his free consultation. He listens to you to learn the red flags and strengths of your case, your eligibility and goals. He will suggest which visa is right for you, the best strategy to get it, and how soon your love can join you. The friendly advice and wisdom he'll freely share with you might make the difference between approval and denial and could save you months or years of loneliness and separation. What have you got to lose? Book your free consultation today.